Craig Cohen 87 here for episode 31 of the Iron Den. Today is going to be a lat, hamstring, and calf day. Not necessarily in that order, however. Woke up at 237.6. Uh, there's been a mild tweak to my diet. So out of the English muffins, peanut butter and jam. And, it, and it's going to be replaced with um, carb powder. In this case, I'll be taking all max carbion. So I'm probably going to be consuming about, between in the workout and after the workout, about 70 to 80 grams of carbs. And I still got my protein shake that I'll be drinking after my my workout, because obviously I still need protein. The carbs are very important. Don't forget about your carbs. Um, Looking forward to this workout. I'm, I'm headed to the gym a little earlier than normal. It's, we're having a little snowstorm in Ottawa, so I was able to leave work early because it was so quiet. So I'm probably headed to the gym about three and a half hours earlier than I would normally be going. So in theory, I have more energy. And I'm not fresh. I did work for about two and a half hours. So I'm not... Uh, I can't use that... There's no excuses, basically. That's my point. Um, yeah, I guess not much to say. We'll keep this short and sweet. See you in the gym. Set number one. I'm going to do some laying leg curls. 95 pounds, 15 to 20 reps. Let's do this shit. That may not have looked like it, but 95 was very hard. I'm down to 70. And I want to go for another 15. Let's do this shit. Slow negative. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Shit. Eleven. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Ah, thirteen. Set number three. Down to fifty five. Let's do the shit.
11, uh, 12, 13, 14, uh, slow negative, oh yeah. First working set of the hip abduction movement, 105 kilos. I'm gonna do three sets with only a 30 second break in between each one. So I'll be tapering the weight down pretty quickly. Let's do this shit. One, I want a very good stretch right here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm gonna need a bit of an assist. Eight. Do all the negative myself. Ten. Ah. Oh. Last set was actually 112.5 pounds. I dropped it to 90. Do this shit. Legs are still burning. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. One more, one more. Nine, I got another one of me. Ah, another one of me. Ah, oh, slow negative. <laughs> okay, so 30 second break is like not a break at all. Still on fire, 60 pounds, let's do this shit. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ka yes, sir. First set, top set, hamstring curls seated, 190 pounds. Let's see what I got. One. Four. 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Slow negative. Oof. Oh, that's how it's done, son. Set number three down to 55 pounds. Let's see what I got left in the tank. Worm. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Ooh. Ooh. All right, time for my favorite exercise, leg press, wide stance. Last week I did 360 for 15. I'm stopping at 15 no matter what. This is not a warm up set, however. I've added 10, so we're up to 380, and I got a little secret weapon. I'm experimenting with smelling salts, so we'll see how that goes. I'm still teared up from it, but I'm fucking ready to go. I want 15 of the slowest fucking reps in, recorded in human history. Let's do this shit. Five more. One, two, three. They're on fire. Or one more. Slow, slow, slow. Oh! See you in 60 seconds. I took an extra 20 seconds. I needed to blow my nose. My nasal pass passageways are very cleared right now. Uh, so let's see if the second set I can still hit 15. Same quality as last time. Let's do this shit. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
They're on fire. Legs, I mean. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. Uh, let's do this shit. Same weight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Slow, slow, slow. Six. Nine. Seated cap raise, 60 pounds. The sets will be between 10 and 20 reps with only a 30 second break. So basically a glorified rest pause. Let's set the watch. 30 seconds ready to go. Do this shit. All the way down, full stretch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. All the way down, very important. Twelve. I neglected going all the way down for years. Thirteen. Oh man, that is burning. Only sixty pounds. Fourteen. Fifteen. Let the weight stretch that calf. Sixty. Seventeen. Three more. Eighteen, they're on fire. Nineteen. Twenty. See you in thirty seconds. Second set, down to forty pounds. One, felt easy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Ah. See you in thirty seconds. Set three, down to 20 pounds. One, already burns. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
Hey. Bang. Ten. Adam. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh my God. Fourth and final. One ten pound plate. <laughs> I'm sure this is the lightest weight attempted on this machine today. Two. But it's not about the weight. It's about the stress on the muscle. Two. Oh my god. Three. Four. Five. Eleven. Wanna stretch those calves. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh my god. One more. Oof. Let's go hit some standing calf raises now. All right, first set of four standing calf raises. Starting at 170 kilos, uh, 170 pounds, and we'll probably taper off pretty quickly. I want 15 to 20 on the first set. One. Two. Four. Five. Slow negative. Thirty seconds. Yeah. Load it up. 
First set, last exercise, pullovers, machines. 
finish off the lats. I got 140 on here. I'm gonna hold all the contractions for two seconds with slow negatives as usual. Sorry, my last two exercises, my microphone died. I just got a little bit of energy in it now. Real world issues, I guess. All right, let's do the shit. One more. One, two, fifteen, slow negative. Oh. Set number two, same weight, replay, let's do this shit. are on fire. See you in 60 seconds for the last set. All right, third and final set. Dropped it down to 90 pounds. I want 10 to 15. Let's see this. Let's do this shit. Okay. 
Two, seven. Ten is going to be a stretch. One, two, eight. Sure, I can cheat and get there, but doing them with proper reps, proper form, I'm already, I'm already not doing it great. Last rep, proper technique. One, two, nine. Okay, I got one more in me. Find a place to hold down. All right, time for the hold down. Let's do this. And another excellent workout in the books. Very happy with it. I, uh, my control, my tempo, my brakes are all in line. I'm not focusing as much on the, the, the heaviness of the weight, rather on the brakes and the reps and the quality of each rep, which is very important. I think this is as close as I've ever been to zero ego, although it's not possible to wipe it out completely. If I'm being honest, a little bit of it always creeps in, but I think uh, in the last, since last week I've been, I just grabbed the torch and started running with it. The workout in total was two hours and 13 minutes, which is pretty good considering I'm working out three body parts, the hamstrings, the calves, and the lats. Um, 
I I feel like I really nailed every exercise there, w without exception. I apologize for the microphone dying. You know, I leave the house, it's full, and then it's not full. So a couple of those exercises I did will just obviously just have music on them. You heard it. I I hate doing that, but... I haven't figured out a workaround yet. I suppose I could buy another pair of microphones. I don't think I'm there yet. But uh, that's something definitely to take care of in the future, and I will. We'll see how the channel grows. Um, but overall, extremely happy with the set. My lats felt like they were going to spasm at any moment. Very good. The hamstrings were on fire right from the very first exercise. And the calves are sufficiently fatigued. If you notice, my leg was shaking after I did the calf raises. And that last set, that last set was just body weight. You know, I see, I see tiny, tiny people using like the whole stack or close to the whole stack, but they're only doing about a quarter of the range of motion necessary. Full range of motion is important. All the way down. All the way up. That's that's one rep. And that's what I was doing. And I top out at 170 on that standing calf raise machine. I did get 15 reps. Probably burning from rep 9, 10, 11 on. And then, yeah, I can keep going till 20. But then the quality of the rep is going down. Meanwhile, I'm burning energy. So the, re the fatigue to stimulus ratio goes kind of out the window if I were to do that. And uh, what I want to do is keep the quality as high as possible. And uh, yeah, for the calf raises also, a 30 second break is basically a glorified rest pause. It's not even a real break. So of course I have to taper the weight down. There's no way to do it without of it. I mean, let's say I'm doing a, a set with 60, my very first set of seated calf raises, 60 pounds. 30 seconds later, my legs are still burning from that set. It's not like I'm fully rested and ready to go again. Maybe I can get the first two reps in and then by set rep three, uh, they're, they're on fire again. But if I'm gonna raise or keep the, um, keep the reps in the double digits, I have to lower it significantly which is what I did. And uh, I'm, I'm noticing terrific gains. I, I hope you guys are all noticing it as well. Uh, the feedback's been very positive. My weight is, uh, like I said, sitting comfortably at 237.6. And I'm not overly fat, although I'm nowhere near as lean as I'm gonna get when I start the prep in, in June, first or second week. I cannot wait for that to happen. I am going to look like I've never looked before. Definition everywhere. My chest is going to be nice and squared off perfectly. Maybe not perfectly, but now it's like, ugh, it's, it's round. I want to be angular and tight and look good from every angle. I just, I like that aesthetic. That's what I'm going for. And I'm very, very good at burning fat. I have a very fast metabolism, so this shouldn't be difficult at all for me to do. But you know what? Every, every show has its own challenges. And I'm ready to embrace these challenges, do what's necessary. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win this show. And uh, I think I'm headed in the right direction. But again, one good, one good day does not really mean anything in the grand scheme of things I have to have I have to turn these days into weeks and weeks into months and months into years and I know you heard me saying this before but I'm going to keep saying it because really when I say it I'm really saying it to myself I'm reminding myself that listen don't get too comfortable with one good workout one good workout is not that much one good day of eating is not that much one good night of sleep is not that much it has to be repeatable and consistent over and over and over again and, and, and string in like 30 good days in a row or 50 or 100 good days. 
that's where the gains are. That's how I'm going to grow optimally. And practicing the posing every day. I love practicing the posing when I'm doing the, um, the pose down at the end of my workout. Because I do it every morning. And then I do a handful of them at night. So this is like a chance for me to do it a third time. So I'm very, I'm very happy about that. That I'm getting, I'm getting my reps in. And keep in mind that when I'm doing the posing on stage, there's no mirror. So I don't get to see myself. So I have to memorize all these poses. That's why it's so important that I practice and practice and practice. And also, when I'm holding a pose, it, it may look easy, but it, it's not easy. It's very, very hard. You got to squeeze the muscle as hard and as tight as you can, usually with your gut sucked in. So if you're breathing and you're out of shape, if you're breathing heavy and you're out of shape, it, it's just not going to look good. It's going to translate. It's going to translate on stage and the judges are going to pick up their, uh, they have a professional eye. They're going to pick up on that immediately. And, uh, it does, I mean, it matters how, how you look, but you also have to be able, your presentation has to be just as good because if you're unable to present yourself and showcase your look, then you're only like halfway there. And posing is a bit of an art. It's not something you could just force or, or, or muscle your way through. That's something that needs to be practiced and rehearsed over and over and over again. And I actually have a coaching, what would I call it? A coaching seminar with my coach, private one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. It'll be over Zoom or whatever. And uh, I find that every time I've done two of them so far, this will be my third one. I get significantly better and I get specific things to research uh, not research but to, to practice over and over again I gotta nail those nine poses they're not all great but I definitely have to get the resting poses perfect or as close to perfect as possible because if they're not it's gonna show it's gonna show on stage and it's gonna hurt my score you know The, the the guy in my in my class that ends up winning the show is going to be an excellent poser. He's not only going to have a great physique, but he's going to be very be able to present that physique. In in most cases, better than everybody else. And uh, that's what it's going to take to win. And like I said, I'm all in. Uh, in the past, I've only I've only practiced posing in the prep. Uh, probably like 15 weeks before the show and this time I've been practicing posing uh, like 30 weeks out so some of these poses are already drilled in my in my mind and I gotta keep going I cannot be complacent because somewhere right now the guy that I'm gonna be competing against or the, the guys that I'm gonna be competing on stage are, are are uh, are practicing their posing right now, you know? And what am I doing? Well, I'm talking about it. I'm speaking out loud my mind. And so I'm drilling it into my head what I need to do. And this is excellent therapy. This is exactly what I need to do. I'm on the right track. I got to keep it up. I can't be complacent. But it's okay to step back and uh, be happy with your progress. Because you know, if you're thinking too negatively about yourself, um, it, it's going to lose the fun because I'm having a ton of fun. It's going to lose the fun. And when, when the fun goes out, your passion goes down. And when your passion goes down, well, I mean, just like anything else in life, you're not going to be good at something you're not passionate about. That's, that's not something I invented. That's just, that's true of anything. If you're not passionate about golf, for example, you're not going to be a good golfer. The best golfers are passionate about it. Practicing their swing is not is not homework for them. They enjoy doing that, you know? And that has to be the same thing for my training, my supplementation, my dieting, my sleeping, my therapy, and my social media. 
which I think is progressing very nicely. Certainly a lot faster than I thought it would. So, yeah. I mean, I think I've rambled on long enough. I think I made the point of, uh, well, I've explained to you the thoughts that I'm thinking. And uh, I think I'll leave it here. I'll be training again tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a chest day, my favorite day of the week, obviously. And I'll throw in some abs. And, uh, well, till tomorrow. Peace out. Wait, let me rephrase that. Craig Cohen 87 signing off. Peace out.